Okay, hi. So I noticed last time when I did my live video that the grain, like the quality of the video was very poor. Um, it kept going in and out. Not good. So instead of live, I've decided to go um, and do a pre-recorded video. So I'm going to pretend I'm live anyway and try to get this done as fast as possible. Um, so bear with me. But I'm going to go over what we talked, what I talked about this week um, when I posted it out. So this week I posted about the Safe Haven 5. So that is the Enviro cloth, the window cloth, the dusting mitt, the cleaning paste, and the laundry detergent. So um, I'm going to go over that kind of quick. I'm going to do a couple fun demos and then I'm going to talk about my favorite stuff. I'm going to talk about some of my best sellers and then I might even talk about the mop. We'll see how we're doing with time. I might have to make that another video. Um, we are running out of time though. Moses party closes on Sunday. So um, let's get started. Okay. So my first demo I'm going to do, I'm going to use the, my Enviro cloth, my everything cloth, and I'm going to use some glow germ. Glow germ is um, used yeah, nursing schools and um, uh, preschools, that kind of stuff, to show proper hand washing, to show how germs spread. So this, it's only visible under black light. So I'm going to use this. And I have a fancy black light here. So what I've done here, I'm gonna wet my EnviroCloth. My EnviroCloth, by the way, I've been using this cloth all week. So this is not a um, freshly laundered, brand new EnviroCloth. So I wanted to let you know that only because not only because I've used this all week and I've wrung it out, I've hung it to dry and I've used it again and I've done it over and over and over again all week. So this cloth still cleans and still removes bacteria after a week of use and I will show you how. Okay, so for those of you who watched my video that I posted today about um, the E. coli samples, that's pretty crazy. If you haven't watched it yet, there is a giveaway on that post, so go and watch it and then tell me something you've learned. Please watch it. It's actually amazing. It's a couple years old um, because Norwex has been around for like 25 years. Who knew? Not me. Um, but it's awesome and I love how it's cutting into more and more households. So okay, enough of that. Let's get to the fun stuff. I've wet my Enviro cloth, I folded it into fours. You wanna fold it in here, you want the most surface area. So like don't bunch up your cloth like this because what's working is the microfiber. Not the water, not the, like anything else, it's the microfiber. So you want to have a clean, smooth surface area to work with. So always fold it here. This way I have one, I have two, I have three, and I have four, and then flip it inside out again. So you have eight clean surfaces before you need to um, rinse it. So what I've done here, I have a plate here and I put glow germ all over it. So I'll show you on the black light here. I wonder if I'm dark enough. No, I'm not dark enough. Uh, okay. I have glow germ on this plate here. You can clearly see all that glow germ. It's awesome. It's actually all over my granite too. It's everywhere. Um, it spreads fast as germs do. So what I'm going to show you here is a little comparison. I actually have a light on this thing now. It's a bit weird. Okay. Um, what I'm going to use is this. So, oh, I shouldn't have labels on here. Um, if you've ever read the, have, okay, question for you is, have you ever read the labels on your disinfectant wipes? So I know it says here, it kills 99.99% of uh, viruses and bacteria, but then it has two little stars next to it. If you go over and read those stars, you will see, so it says, pre-clean heavily soiled surfaces. So pre-clean them, then discard that wipe. Use a fresh wipe to remove the dust and the debris, blah, blah, blah. So I thought that would be removed in the pre-clean stage, but, um, all right, what's it say here? To sanitize. So it gives you a list of the viruses that it will kill for you, which is maybe four or five of them. Yeah. So it says, allow surface to remain wet for four minutes. Four minutes. Have you ever used a Lysol wipe and let it and made it kept it wet uh, wet for four minutes? No. I have never, I don't know about you guys. 
Um, so, uh, sorry, allow surface to remain wet for four minutes, allow surface to air dry. And then once you've done that, you're supposed to wipe the surface and allow to, rem um, sorry, you're supposed to wipe the surface again and then rinse the, whatever it is, toys or whatever, thoroughly with water after use. That's crazy. So you have to pre-clean the surface. You have to wipe it again, keep it wet for four minutes. So I'm assuming that means keep applying the cloth for four minutes. And then once you've done that, wipe it again and then rinse it with water because, okay, it's killed all the bacteria and the viruses on that surface four minutes later, but now you've got all these chemicals and not nastiness on your surface. So now you have to rinse with water. Well, you can't rinse everything with water. I've cleaned so much stuff with these things thinking that I was good after that this just magically killed all those viruses. <coughs> Excuse me, and bacteria. No, that's not the case at all. So I'm going to show that today. I actually have a, I'm getting more swabs right now. I haven't ordered them yet, or I have ordered them yet. I just haven't gotten them yet. Um, or I do a chicken test demo. So I've actually done that. I did that at um, Liz's house before and where I took raw chicken breast and I wiped it on the counter. I did half the side with um, a Lysol wipe and I did the other side with the microfiber cloth, Norwex mi microfiber cloth. And I used protein swabs um, to test both sides and the side with the Lysol, surprise, surprise, was filthy dirty with protein, bacteria, just a breeding ground for all of those lovely things that you get from raw chicken breast. And the Norwex cloth was completely clean, the Norwex side. So I did that demo, it blew some people away. It's amazing. I actually have this uh, picture of the swab so I can post that. Uh, I'll post it underneath, the comp or underneath this video. And I actually will post a link to another chicken test. I didn't do it, another um, Norwex consultant did. So I have a Lysol wipe here. I'm going to take my plate with my blow germ on it. I'm going to wipe half of it. So I'm going to wipe. And I'm not being stingy. Yeah, I'm wiping it. Okay. All right. So I can wipe my surface on my counter here with my Lysol wipe and see what that does. All right. So I've used my wipe here. Now I'm going to turn off the lights again. Now, I wiped half of that plate with the Lysol wipe. This wipe I didn't, this side I did. You can see the street, you can see the difference of the sides of the plates. All right, now I'm going to turn the light back on again. Now I'm going to wipe the other side with my Norwex cloth in my fours. And I'm literally going to do one swipe of this cloth. Okay, so it's all on that, that cloth now. I'm gonna go back over, I'm trying to see where I had the line here for an even. All right, now I'm gonna turn off the light again. Okay, so this side was the side I did with the Lysol wipe and the Norwich side. It literally removed everything from that surface, right? everything so I'll just and it's all trapped in this cloth right here and what is amazing is it's all in this cloth but I can go to another surface right now wipe it and none of this will be transferred it's crazy but I will um oh I should show you oh dear it's all over my shirt okay so, here. I don't know if you can see that but I have it on my shirt I have it everywhere this is what I wiped with the Lysol wipe I'm not quite sure if you can see that or not but there is streaks everywhere of all this glow germ all around. It's everywhere. So I'm going to wipe it. Oh, look at this wipe. I'll wipe. <laughs> right in the garbage. Okay, so I don't know, <laughs> again, if you can see that on the video, but the difference between what I just wiped with my Enviro cloth and what I wiped earlier with my Lysol wipe is honestly night and day. And I'm not transferring any of that back. It is crazy. So I'm actually going to wipe the rest of this cloth here. Look at that. It, uh, it's clean. Nothing on it. It's crazy. All right. 
So we're just gonna lay this back on. So I do have, I do have glow, I do have glow germ everywhere. Um, that stuff goes everywhere. So it doesn't help that I broke my lid. So whenever I move it somewhere, it transfers everywhere. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna clean up. So this plate is completely clear of all that glow germ. And I would just go over to my sink and I would rinse out my cloth. to do is hang this to dry overnight 24 hours later it is completely free of all of those germs everything the silver goes to work and it snuffs out all the bacteria okay so that was my first demo with the glow germ so we're gonna move up right along here um, again if you watch that video with um, the E. coli sample and everything like that there was a lady on there with butter so I'm gonna do a quick butter demo test. I'm gonna do it on my fridge because it's right behind me. So I'm just gonna get some butter. All right, I've got some butter here. Gross. Ah. And honestly, so I have, my daughter's eight. She makes her own breakfast sometimes. I mean, yeah. So she makes toast. She gets butter, she gets peanut butter, she gets Nutella, she gets it everywhere. So when I go to clean, all I use is one cloth and literally wipes it all off one time. It's insane. So I'm gonna take my butter here and I'm going to smear it on my fridge. Okay, so you can clearly see that butter on my fridge. Now I'm going to take my cloth here, get my hands. Actually, I'm gonna get my window cloth out because I'll finish with my window cloth. Literally one swipe, guys. It's like all that butter is gone. Okay, and then I will take my, I follow up with my window cloth here. Polish it up. Don't over dry it. Ta-da! Streak free. So, that's just on stainless steel appliances. That works for granite. That works for any kind of countertop, any shiny surface at all. Um, this cloth is amazing. So I have some down here on my granite. I don't know if you can see this back a There we go. There's some butter right here. Literally. It's gone. I love it. It's so easy. And when I say it cuts clear, so not only is it removing all the bacteria, not is it only is it replacing all of your chemical cleaners and things like that, it literally cuts your cleaning time in half. In half. So I will clean my entire house with this cloth, and this cloth, and this mitt. So like, it's crazy. These three things right here, the bio cloth, the window cloth, and the mitt, dusting mitt are in the basic, or sorry, in the household package. Another good place to start but I always recommend the Safe Haven 5 only because it comes with the laundry detergent, which helps you care for your cloths. So please, if you haven't yet already, go and watch or go and read about the laundry detergent um, and see my little comparison with like a free and tie, a Tide free and clear versus the Norwex free and clear. And when we say free and clear, we really mean free and clear. Okay, next I'm going to talk about, um, again, I've posted tons of um, before and after pictures of this cleaning paste, it's seriously amazing. So it's uh, like a brick. It's a hard substance. You take your wet and viral cloth and you get a corner of it or whatever and rub it on here and you've got your cleaning paste. Then go to work, clean whatever. It removes unbelievable stuff. So I use, I use this with like um, a spirit sponge, which is one of these guys, just for an extra little, mm, so this um, it's like a sponge, but it's got a little, it's got a, an abrasive side to it. Um, I have a mighty pot scrubber. That thing is my favorite. So I'll show you guys. Actually, my right now. Actually, it's kind of a little wet. So this is the pot scrubber. It's got a little handle on it here. It's um, amazing. <laughs> I use it with the cleaning paste to clean like those really tough stains on my pots and pans. You can stick this in the dishwasher. 
it lasts forever i've had this i've used it so many times it's still amazing so i mean yes you can buy these at the dollar store but quality over quantity right how many of them are you buying at the dollar store as opposed to how many are you gonna buy there that one i don't even think that's expensive i think it's like 11 29 or something like that so i mean how many you one time use for the dollar store you're looking at 11 bucks really quick so okay so cleaning paste um it smells kind of smells like lemony it's super yummy um amazing a laundry detergent like i mentioned this is just a sample pack it does come in bigger sizes um can be used as an all-purpose cleaner it's free of everything um but it makes your clothes it doesn't okay so when you normally do your laundry and you get it all out and you get that mm, that really nice laundry smell of course you're not going to get that with this because there is no added fragrances or fillers or any of those things right but it's cleaning your clothes like deep cleaning them so you don't get that smell but your clothes don't need that smell because they're clean <laughs> so my white sheets always kind of had like a yellowy gray tinge to them no matter how many times i wash them i started using this and they are white again like it's crazy um stain removing like it breaks it's enzyme based so it breaks down all of those things speaking of enzyme based i'm going to jump right into our products here so the bathroom cleaner this bathroom cleaner i've had since i started I'm getting out of breath and talking so fast um it is probably like it's super full super full what i do with this is i dilute it <clears throat> so i think it's one cap full one ounce to seven ounces of water in a spray bottle so i went to the dollar store i bought some um, spray bottles i put in some bathroom cleaner and some water like you can tell that there is bubbles in there and that's like i've used this since i had seven ounces of water in it so i mean it goes a long way a long way so again awesome i use this in the bathroom to spray the tub and then i use my bathroom scrub mitt um to kind of clean it after that you know when you drop shampoo or again eight-year-old daughter loves to drop shampoo and soap and all that kind of stuff so scrubby side for your bathroom cloth for your bathroom scrub mitt and the enviro side <coughs> Excuse me so the enviro side is um just like your enviro cloth and then you've got your scrubby side on the other side um it does it's like a mitt it's got like a little line in here so you can bend it around um okay so bathroom cleaner awesome another one of like my best sellers slash favorite products is the mattress cleaner so it's enzyme based so it removes organic material from the mattresses bedding upholstery probiotic enzyme powdered formula it's biodegradable there's no obstacle brighteners added fragrances sls's sles's parabens phosphates i swear so i hadn't cleaned my mattress i mean who does you rotate it you clean your sheets blah blah but like hadn't cleaned your mattresses um i noticed that before like i would wake up and really stuffy like you had a cold but then midway through the day or as soon as you left your bedroom really like it was gone and i'm like that's really strange started using that no more um great my son was vomiting the other day um, I have a mattress protector on his crib, but um, you know how things have, like things seep through, it happens. So I use this and breaks down all those things. Mattress is good as new. So awesome product, um, helps with, I've, I mean, I can't say that helps with snoring or anything like that, um, but I've had, there's testimonials out there that say that their stuffiness has gone away, their headaches have gone away, their um, snore, husband's snoring has been reduced. Um, lots of great things about this mattress cleaner. Never thought to clean a mattress until I did. Um, so I have some stain remover for your laundry. It's stain remover. It's the same in every brand, um, except ours is natural. <laughs> Not filled with all the gunky stuff. So um, it removes tough stains, biodegradable, no bleach, optic brighteners, dyes, um, synthetic fragrances. It's uh, not tested on animals and there is no animal derived ingredients so it is vegan i think a lot of our products actually are vegan or all of them um yeah no animal derived ingredients no not tested no animal derived ingredients yeah so they're all vegan um okay what am i talking about now so i'm gonna jump into some of my other favorites which are the oh the body cloths okay so this is a big time um seller for me the body cloth this is the body cloth 
looks kind of similar to an Enviroclaw. Um, this is an Enviroclaw. It's just a lot, it's just a little smaller, but it's way softer. So like the um, microfiber is much uh, plusher. <laughs> Um, this removes everything from your face, from your body, with just water. I'm been talking makeup. I'm saying that I use this to remove all my makeup before I go to bed. I sometimes and sometimes don't use my acne wash anymore. I started majorly using this. It cleared up my skin. Um, I still get, you know, those lovely things around certain times of the month, but I don't think any product can help that. Um, I've actually had a lot of testimonials about people about people's skin getting cleared up using these cloths. Um, they remove your eyeliner, your mascara with just water. So no more cotton pads, no more eye makeup remover, no more um, facial cleansers. People use these to wash their entire body in the shower, so no more soap. People use these to shave their legs, so no more shaving cream. It's crazy what these cloths can do. So body cloths, they come in a pack of three. They're um, $23.99. So not a bad deal since they microfiber is guaranteed for two years. That's talking all, I'm talking all the microfiber is guaranteed for two years. So if you have um, any microfiber at all, it's guaranteed for warranty for two years. Um, okay, so another one of my favorite things is this MVP pack. So I have one of them in my diaper bag. I have one of them in my car. Um, this is awesome for on the go. So they do have like a mini Enviro travel pack, but I really like how this MVP pack, which stands for multi variety pack. Um, Enviro claw, look how mini that is. Body claw, again, really mini. And a window cloth. Personally, I've never really used the window cloth. I can totally see you using this in your car to clean your car, but I've always just used my big size um, Enviro cloth. But I have used these two cloths in my everyday life. So um, body cloth for wiping hands, wiping uh, faces, and everything like that at restaurants, you name it, boogers, whatever, body cloth for kids, honestly amazing. Enviro cloth. So I actually used to, I was one of those people who would bring a bag, like a little Ziploc bag full of Lysol wipes and I put them in my diaper bag and then I would use them for shopping carts. I would use them for restaurant tables. I would use them for the restaurant high chairs. Um, I didn't realize that I was not doing anything but just is exposing him to harmful chemicals. So I started using this EnviroCloth. I know that it's removing everything from that surface, no matter who's cleaned it before, who's touched it before, I'm removing all of those things. So it's so handy to have in your bag. You can get it wet with just a little water bottle. You can get it wet at bathroom, wherever. You can always find water. Um, and I always just hang it on in my car on my little um, glove box hook. So it stays in there, it dries in there, I put it back in and I launder it when I remember. <laughs> um, but it's honestly a, so awesome for little people. The MVP pack is pretty awesome. I use it quite a bit. Um, okay. So I'm gonna talk about, so microfiber booster and I'm gonna talk about um, oh, the produce wash is another um, enzyme-based product we have. Produce wash is actually growing on me to be one of my favorite things. So I use this for my berries. I use this for my grapes. I use it for um, my old well, grapes, most importantly, because we eat a lot of grapes here. And we've only just started using a lot of grapes here because these keep them so fresh for so long. And I know that there's nothing on them. Blueberries, I don't wash raspberries because we all know they just get a soggy mess. Um, blackberries, anything, produce wash. So what it is, it says, <clears throat> clean your fresh fruits and vegetables with this plant-based biodegradable formula that effectively removes unwanted chemical residues from fertilizers, dirt, and bacteria and helps to extend the shelf life of your produce. So there, it's easy to use, there's no scrubbing required. So all you do is use, um, like 16 fluid ounces of water, spray um, a couple sprays in the water, soak the produce for one to two minutes. Um, leafy vegetables plus broccoli and cauliflower should be squished and rinsed. Um, so for faster results, spray the produce, wait 30 seconds and then rinse it out. So I've had somebody say, well, are you just spraying more things onto your produce? <laughs> no, because this is completely, there's no parabens, no sulfates. Um, it's bio, it's uh, enzyme based, so it's eating away all of the bad stuff on your fruits and vegetables. 
So I actually have some before and after pictures of the water that I've used to clean my grapes in. I've actually done it a couple of times, so I have a couple of before and after pictures. The water is like gray after, and there's always a, like a gray film in the bottom of the bowl. Very gross. The grapes stay so fresh and so crispy, like you're eating like a pickle, like they're so crisp. And I've, it's not only that batch, because I've done it like four or five times, and every single time I've done it properly, um, they've been amazing. So that was my produce wash. They're one of my favorites. I'm gonna talk about the microfiber booster. So microfiber booster, if you don't wanna buy the laundry detergent because you're like, I'm not gonna use it for my cloths, I love my laundry detergent, but I want something for my cloths to clean them so they, I, they stay fresh. Because like if you use, if you put these in the washing machine with your regular Tide Pods or your um, sunlight or whatever you use, um, you're gonna clog the fibers because the microfiber is so densely packed, the, our laundry detergent cleans out and removes everything from that. Tide and things with um, fillers and all those kinds of things fill your cloth with gunk and they won't work as effectively. So if you've washed your cloths and you've noticed like maybe they're repelling water or they're not absorbing um, anything or they're not cleaning the surfaces properly, check and make sure that you're washing them um, properly. So it is very important to do that because I mean there is a two year warranty so you wanna make sure you get the most use out of your cloths. If you don't want to do that, you can always buy the microfiber booster. This booster will last you forever because you literally use a teaspoon of it to wash your cloths. Um, you can use this to do anything though. Soak your hockey equipment, soak your, soak your sports bras, soak anything in like a teaspoon of this. Look at the water after, you will literally be amazed. It'll be like black. I do deep clean on my cloths a lot. Um, I do it probably twice a month. Um, because we use our cloths insane around here, but um, all I do is hot water and a scoop. I don't even use a full scoop. I use like a teaspoon, like I said, um, throw out the scoop that's in here. I don't even think the scoop's in here. No, it's not. Um, I use a teaspoon, that's it. It's got, a, this one's got like a lemony smell to it. It's more of like a booster for your laundry. So like you can have both of these and use this in your laundry too. This is like a, like an OxyClean, uh, uh, laundry booster <coughs> okay so I think that's all the products that I wanted to talk to you about um, my, I did post about the EnviroWand and the dusting mitt again the dusting mitt EnviroWand so awesome this does come in the Safe Haven 5 package um, the EnviroWand doesn't but it is super awesome so like fence any which way you want on top of fan blades on top of your curtains, hard to reach corner places with cobwebs, whatever. Oh, I've got some dust on here already. <laughs> um, so hard to reach places. So like in here, awesome. Um, places that you never thought you would dust, right? Because it's just too, um, too high to whatever, like on top of my cabinets, crazy. It's amazing. So <clears throat> awesomeness. This actually comes off too, it's a sleeve, so you can wash this, launder it as well, depending on how I use it. So bend it any which way, it comes off in the sleeve. Um, the dusting mitt, just as it says it is, it's a mitt, you dust with it. Um, I'm actually going to do a little um, giveaway for a dusting mitt actually. So for every $50 that you spend on Moses Party, you will get a ballot to enter into a draw to win a free dusting mitt. So yay, if you have two of them, if you do buy like a Safe Haven 5 package and you get one, um, rubbing them together and going crazy on your house is literally awesome. Um, rubbing them together to get that static charge and then it's like a magnet. Everything just tracks it, nothing will float in the air. It's um, pretty amazing. So I'm gonna talk now about the mop. So, uh, what time am I? Okay, 29, yay! Okay, <clears throat> the mop. I've got a dry mop pad and a wet mop pad. Now, I do my laundry on the weekends, like I said, with my dirty enviro cloth, so this is kind of dirty. It's kind of got a gray tinge. I actually did underneath beds and everything like that um, earlier in the week, so it's kind of dirty. Um, but it's got the backlog in it, so it will... Um... Does that have a backlog in it? No. Okay, the dry mop pad doesn't have a backlog. I thought it did. 
you can tell if it has backlock or not because it'll say backlock on the tag. I just learned something new. So the dry mop pad doesn't have backlock in it, but the wet mop pad does. So it says backlock right there on the tag there, and it does not say it on the dry mop pad. Okay, well, I learned something new. So this is supposed to be used as your um, your broom. So you use it. I will. I don't know how many. Times. to do my other wind to do my windows I'm a tall person short people whatever okay so I lock it in place here I take my uh, dry mop pad take it on the ground and I put it down pop it on the ground a couple times just to get like that static charge and then do like a figure eight pattern to collect all your stuff here I actually did wash my floors quite recently but you would never know that because have a toddler. Okay, so figure eight pattern and then you'll collect like don't expect it to pick up like Cheerios and stuff like that you leave on the floor, but it will pick up um, dust, cat hair, dog hair, um, your hair. Um, yeah, it is still microfiber on the bottom. Um, so that is good. So now probably got some stuff on there. Yeah, so I take my rubber brush. If you buy the mop, buy the rubber brush. It's awesome. You will use it every time you use your mop. So it's definitely something good to have. So you take your um, mop pad, you take your rubber brush and literally just like this into the garbage. So you're moving it. The rubber brush is also good for like your couches. If you have animals, it gets all the dog hair or cat hair. I've actually seen people brush their dogs and cats with these. Um, entryways, stairs, anything with carpet, this will remove, this will help you remove all the stuff on the surface. So it's a, um, a Velcro system. So this just comes off and throw it in the washing machine. Uh, same rules apply with the mop pad that the uh, microfiber does. It's all the same. Wet mop pad, put that on the ground. So wet it with water, wring it out um, well, then put it on the floor and go to town. So um, Melissa actually bought the mop too and she said, when she started, when she used it, she's like, you know, when you go to parties, make sure people try out the mop because I was, didn't expect it to be this awesome. <laughs> so um, it's pretty awesome. It is the same thing, right? So the same microfiber that's on the Envirocloth is on your mop pad. So it's not the water that you're using to clean the floor, it's the microfiber. So it's picking up all of the bacteria, it's picking up all of the stuff. So the thing I just did with the, glow, the demo I just did with the glow germ, is you're doing the same thing with your floor. So you spill something, this will clean it, remove it, takes everything away. <clears throat> this mop pad does have the backlog in it, so it will be hanging it to dry, and then you can use it again and again. I use my dry mop pad too again, again and again because it's more of like a broom, like you don't wash your broom, right? So um, I do wash it once a week with all of my other stuff, but I don't wash it throughout the week even though it doesn't have the backlog system in it the silver in it. Okay, so that is the mop pad. They do have actually uh, more mop pads. So they have a tile mop pad, which has like a little bit of silver, not silver, plastic um, embedded in it. So it's got a little more to get inside those grooves and to um, a little extra power. I actually have it downstairs hanging to dry because I used it. Um, it's great for any floor, really. It just gives you a little bit more um, uh, cleaning power. Um, and I also have the window mop pad, which I think I took out yet. The window mop pad. So this is awesome because this is your EnviroCloth, right? On your mop pad. So go outside. My top window, I can't reach that without a ladder. Um, and I don't think I ever washed it until this, until I got this mop. Cause I went outside with this wet, wiped my entire mirror or window. Um, and then followed up with the window cloth. Beautiful. So streak free, amazing. When I'm doing, there's a little lock mechanism on this mop. When you're doing floors, you want to open. When you're doing windows outside or when you're doing your walls, like this is great for, um, I mean, your dry mop pad would probably be better for your walls, for your, that kind of stuff. But this also, I say walls, for, um, what's this 
called Enviro One. Also sticks on top of the mop pad, or sorry, on, it sticks in the mop base. So this comes off and your Enviro Wand will stick in here. So you can use that for the walls, for um, those hard to reach places with the cobwebs, if you have vaulted ceilings, whatever. Um, so that is very cool. Um, so yeah, this is the mop. It's seriously amazing. What I used to do before compared to what I do now to clean my floors is crazy. And I wash my floors so much more now because I, it's so easy. It's not like a task. I'm like, oh, I gotta do my washing floor. It's like Jax has dinner and I'm like, oh, get the mop out. Like so, so simple, so easy. Works amazing. So there's no more streaks. There's no more cloudiness. Tessa and Dax can walk across the floor right after I've done it because A, there's no chemicals on the floor and B, because there is no, or sorry, they can walk right across the floor because A, there's no chemicals on the floor and because there's no chemicals on the floor, you won't see their finger, your, their toe prints or their footprints when the light shines through in 30 minutes um, because they're not absorbing those chemicals and leaving um, clean spots or dirty spots or whatever have you. So awesome stuff. Like I only discovered that when um, my cat and Tessa were outside and I was washing the floors and she's like, can I come in? And I was like, oh, because she knows like what I'm washing in the before. When I'm washing the floors, like you have to stay out, you have to go away. Um, and so I'm like, fine. So she came in, walked to her room, so did the cat. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And then later on I was sitting there and I looked at the sun was shining through. I looked and I'm like, I can't see any of those finger footprints anymore. I'm like, hmm, another checklist, another like check for the mop. So awesome 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 um this so there's a little thing on her here this can stick on anything um you need to to hold it right so it sticks oh you can't see better right. <clears throat> so it's you're in the middle of mopping or whatever um this little ball at the top here is great for scuff marks on the floor so rip it up you got um something on the floor you just use the ball on the top of here um <clears throat> convenient storage so lightweight so easy literally the best if you want the mop but it's like out of your budget totally get it you have a party like Melissa did, is doing and um, when you have a party you get free um, post rewards which is awesome um, and then you also get a certain percentage of um, money towards based on this total number of sales towards free stuff so that's when you would buy your mop so because you're getting all these host rewards, you might as well spend it on something that you really want. Um, most people buy the mop with their host rewards. Um, if they already have the mop, they will buy other things. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to go over the fiber care instructions really quickly, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. 40 minutes, that's my goal. <coughs> okay, so Norwex microfiber care tips. I have, this is one that I've just made for now, but I have another one um, that I will put in all of your packages so you don't have to remember this. It goes over the care instructions. It goes over what cloth to use when. Um, it goes over, I think that's it. Yeah, so it, it does all of this. <clears throat> so basically you wanna rinse daily. So once you've used your cloth, you're going to go to the sink. You're gonna rinse it out with hot water rubbing it against each other, kind of like loosen up the fibers a bit, and then wring it out as best you can and hang it to dry. 24 hours later, it's clean again because the back lock, the silver, has cleaned, has snuffed out all of that bacteria and, and grime and dirt or whatever, um, and it's clean again. So, no soap, no soap, unless it's the Norwex soap. We do have dish soap. You can use um, any Norwex product with any Norwex product. <laughs> um, so wash weekly, I, use my, I do mine weekly. So only use a free and clear natural detergent like the Norwex one. I did touch about, about this earlier. Um, you don't want to use a Tide Pod or the Sunlight because they will clog the fibers and your cloth won't act like it's supposed to. And it's kind of a waste of money at that point. It's like, why, why bother? Um, no fabric softeners, no dryer sheets. So dryer sheets have leave a film on your clothes. Um, that's how they stop the static, right? It smells nice, but it's toxic because <laughs> it's a chemical. So you're leaving, um, we actually have dryer balls, did I talk about that? I don't know if I did. We have dryer balls here, so it comes in a pack of three, they're amazing. That's another one actually of my best sellers. Um, everybody loves dryer balls. These are the wool ones, you can put essential oils on them if you need that smell in your laundry, or there's plastic ones. Or you can do both at the same time. I actually have both and I do them at the same time. 
Um, so no dryer sheets, no linty items. So don't put your microfiber in with like your husband's work socks because you will be picking lint out of those microfiber cloths <laughs> for a while. Not fun. Um, so towels, that kind of stuff, like no linty items. So best to wash them if you don't have a lot of micro, uh, microfiber, to wash them with bed sheets, to wash them with like jeans and that kind of stuff, like zero lint items. Um, so deep clean, I did touch base about that too, about using your microfiber booster, but you can, there are other ways to deep clean your cloths. So if you don't have any um, laundry detergent, it's recommended to boil some water on the side, stop boiling it, have your cloths like in the sink or in a bowl, and then pour your water in the bowl and let that soak. Don't let the water get cold again because the fibers will close up. That hot water is releasing all of the fibers. It's going to release all of the gunk that's in, built, built up in your cloth that regular laundering has not been able to remove. Um, if you do have um, the laundry detergent, do the same thing, but add a teaspoon of laundry detergent. It'll just make it that much better. And then the booster, you can just use hot tap water and a teaspoon of this in your sink and you leave it for 30 minutes and then your cloths um, will let go of everything and be clean again. Once you've done that deep clean, don't be afraid to throw them in the dryer. I know some of you were like, I didn't know you were not allowed to throw them in the dryer. Absolutely put them in the dryer. That keeps your cloths soft and awesome. It reforms them. It's awesome. So um, don't be afraid of the dryer. 100%. The silver is never going to break down. The silver is never going to disappear. It's like embedded in that cloth hardcore um okay that's it rinse daily wash weekly deep clean as needed so i will put the care instructions in the package that all of you get um so i'm going to do uh i'm actually i'll do another video maybe i'll do a live video for the draws so if you haven't done the draws please go and comment on the videos um, so get some ballots in there and you can win some awesome stuff. So I think uh, for now is a mini Enviro cloth for the first giveaway. The second giveaway is 25% off one item of your choice. And the third giveaway is a window cloth. So, I mean, you could win some good stuff. And then I'm also going to have another giveaway too for, well, I've already mentioned that for every $50 you spend, you get another ballot and you will win a, a dusting mitt. So there's lots of prizes. Um, Lots of awesome stuff. So thank you, Melissa, for hosting this party and sharing the love of Norworks with everybody. Um, I love these products. We use them insane. They're all over the house. <gasps> oh no, I have one more product. Okay, so Brandon, uh, my husband or baby daddy, whatever you want to call him, um, came home from work and all the paper towel had gone from the house and he was like, what's going on? Where's my paper towel? We don't need paper towel anymore because... We have counter cloths. So counter cloths, amazing. So they are one, they are the size of one piece of paper towel. You can use this counter cloth for freaking anything. So like people are afraid to use the, I gave them away, like my mother-in-law and stuff like that bought them. She's afraid to use them. She doesn't know how, I don't think she knows how to clean them. Um, oh my goodness, there's peanut butter. Like I don't wanna clean the cloth. I don't wanna clean peanut butter with the cloth. So they always just go to paper towel. When I bought these counter cloths, I literally removed, I didn't buy any more paper towel. We use the rest of it and then it's gone. So there is not any paper towel in my house anymore. We use this. <clears throat> so this will pick up one quarter cup of liquid. So when you spill a glass of orange juice, when you spill a glass of water, whatever it is, pick it up with this counter cloth. It's freaking amazing. So if I had any paper towel, I would do a demo with you right now, um, but I don't. So I actually have to buy some for my demo box. Um, paper towel, or it is, it's got like more of a, a different texture, like a weave. So this picks up crumbs like crazy, like not like any freaking paper towel would ever. Um, again, toast. This is more normally what I clean the toast with and everything like that because that butter demo, this does the exact same thing. So peanut butter, Nutella, honey, anything like that, anything that's spilled, this kind of cloth will clean it. So you can clean this kind of, so spilled orange juice you walk you take this cloth you wipe over you wipe it all up you go to the sink you rinse it out hang it to dry roll it back up stick it back in your cloth so like it's totally got the back lock in it there's these are actually made from recycled um plastics too so you're not only saving the environment by not using paper towel but you're also using recycled products which is amazing for your impact on um, the environment 
Um, what else is another thing about these? They come in, so they, when you buy a crown cloth, they come in a pack of three. Um, there's different color um, combos, obviously. This is a little house, you can buy this, and then you will, and when you buy the house, you get, I think, uh, nine counter cloths. Um, I think this holds up to, how many do I have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight in here. Um, I have more, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> so you could easily fit another eight in here, right? Easily. So, I mean, this holds a lot. You've, I've never gone through all of these. I normally go through about three or four a week because you're rinsing them out and you're, once, okay. <laughs> once you've cleaned up that orange juice, you've gone under your sink and rinsed it out, that cloth is now wet, but you can use that again and again and again and again, and then rinse it out and hang it to dry and clean again. So like we will use one cloth like a day. So, um, or yeah, pretty much. Um, if you if something spills, then you get another one because you want the dry cloth. But if you some, got something, you use a wet cloth. I use these to clean Dax up. I use these to clean the table, his high chair, everything. Reducing paper towels one step at a time. These are awesome. So I think that was my last thing that I forgot. Um, I knew I was forgetting something. I did. Okay, so um, like I said, thank you again for to Melissa. If you want. Um, to talk to me about hosting your own party. I do do in-home parties too. Those are a lot of fun because I get people interactive. Um, we do the butter test on a window versus paper towel and Windex on the window. So um, there's some cool fun demos that I can do and it's really cool to get people engaged and everything like that. So if you wanna have a party, let me know. Um, we can also do another Facebook party like this. So let me know and if you have any questions, please ask me. Um, thank you again for watching and if you've watched this video, please comment below and I'll give you an extra point. I'll give you an extra ballot in the draw. Thank you.